And in, uh, in the hadith recorded in Sahih al-Jami'ah, the Prophet وسلم, said, there is nothing better for two who love one another than marriage. The two who love one another, the best thing for them is to get married. So the, it does acknowledge that there can be love and then it gives you a solution for it, which is the marriage. It recognizes that. So then what does the forbidden love do? It causes zina. It causes people to lose their religion. And it also replaces the love of Allah with the love of that individual. So now someone is probably saying, great, now our favorite thing, love, now, now they're telling us forbidden as well. And how are we supposed to get married? No love, how are we going to get married here? So let me ask you a question. Which do you think of these two groups I'm about to mention, which is the more successful type of marriage? The type of marriage where people fell in love before getting married or the type of love where people fell in love after marriage? Who thinks the, the more successful one is, when, don't be shy, Ani, if you fell in love before marriage, this is a more successful marriage. Okay, so we have three brothers and just one sister on this side. Okay, four brothers now. And 50 who are like me. Okay, so, and who thinks that? Obviously the rest, I will assume, they think that the other type, the, the, where the love happens after marriage is the more successful, and you are correct. So contrary to what we think, you fall in love first, chocolates, flowers, roses, then you get married, nice happy life. But statistics will tell you that those who fell in love after marriage, that's the more successful type of wedding. So let me ask you one more. Do you think which is the type of marriage that's more successful? The one where you find your own spouse or the one where your best friend's wife hooks you up with some other sister and, or your mother or your sister hooks you up with someone? Who says the first type where you find your own spouse? Put your hand up. Okay. And this is the second. Who has no clue what we're talking about? Okay, and the truth is the second type where someone hooks you up with someone, where there's a hookup. They tell you this person, that person, and then this is the more successful type of marriage. So it goes contrary to what we usually think. And why is it that it's usually the opposite? Because we live in a world of exaggerated romance. And coming from Sudan, being very unromantic myself, I'm the right person to speak about exaggerated romance. Everything is full of so much romance. And by the way, there are studies by, by Western scholars on this issue. That it's too much and it's unrealistic, the type of romance we hear about. In the movies, it's un exaggerated romance. In the books, the romantic novels with the guy with the long hair on the cover. Exaggerated. And in the music, and of course music, not only does it exaggerate romance, but most of the time it's praising. When music talks about love, is it talking about uh, the wife? Yeah, anyone, Puff Diddy, talks about, <laughs> I love you, ma'arif ish. Is he talking about his wife? He's talking about some foreign woman. They're always talking about zina, mostly, fornication. So, the exaggerated romance is what makes now people have this unrealistic view in their head. It's all this stuff we're talking about, that you had me at hello type of stuff. Huh? The soulmates kind of uh, action. You know, the prince that will sweep, sweep you off your feet. All of this is just exaggerated romance. And it's unrealistic and it makes people live in this type of dream, dream world where this is their expectation for their marriage. It could be something as unromantic as a brother bringing his father with a broken accent and they're sitting and they're talking to your father who has a broken accent or we want your son to marry our daughter. That's it. No flowers, no roses, no prince on a white horse. Khalas. But it might be a very nice relationship after that. Taib. So there are so many problems that are caused by love relationships that are outside of marriage. The least of them is the person becomes a zombie who can't think about anything but the person that they're in love with. I know one brother who had a famous love story in our area. He's in love with this sister for three years. We were at the Ikna or Isna convention some years ago. We prayed after the salah, after the taslim, he tells me, Wallah, during the whole prayer, I'm just thinking of her. So now, Okay, no focus on salah, forget about Allah. Just all he's thinking about is the sister, the sister, the sister, the sister. So this is the worst case. The least case is that you'll just become like that. A mindless zombie. You can't think straight.